Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon, and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead Origins. We're back here with another episode, and I just want to say thank you so much for all the support you've been leaving on this series. It's absolutely amazing. And here's the top comment from the last episode. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback and comments you have been leaving on the series, guys. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, continue doing that for a chance to have your comment featured on the series. And today we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to go look for some supplies because, as you guys can tell, this place does seem a bit changed and that is because I did a live stream and uh, I kind of started to retransform this area a bit more and as you can tell we do have better storage units kind of reorganized and same with this side with doors and everything looks to seem you know coming together which is what I wanted to do um, and yeah I'm pretty happy but we got to fill up these chests as you can tell there's really nothing in these chests for now I'm just gonna throw in all the stuff we have that I don't want to take with us on our crazy adventure and hopefully it's gonna be a safe adventure but we never know when it comes to this stuff so let's get uh, most of this stuff actually is what we need um, empty syringe all right you know we can deal with this now the only issue is issue is I don't have melee weapon um, besides maybe I do have a few here oh I forgot I do have one of these I want to use it there we go all right so we got a water canteen and eh, not too bad I guess for an adventure like this traveling we're gonna kind of need that uh, so we have our backpack with items in it now I don't know if I want to take my fuel tank or my uh, flamethrower because I only have 86 left in my fuel tank and that's not really too good so I'm gonna try to reserve that for emergencies I'm probably gonna take it with us just for safety but I don't want to you know get too comfortable using all of it so it looks like everything in here is really what we do don't want to really consume besides taking some food and other than that um, we're actually pretty much gonna leave this backpack here and we're gonna see if there's another backpack by any chance I'm gonna take some of this food as well we're gonna take the clean rag and I think we're gonna go I think we're gonna start going on this adventure and see what we can find now I have no idea what to expect and more than anything I don't really know where this area is full of supplies so we're gonna go in that direction and hope that there's gonna be some buildings for us and things that we can actually um, pretty much take to bring to our base I'm gonna close this just in case someone just tries to break in here but also I do have another NPC that I added and it was actually from from the stream we added one of the guards um, and it's at the towers there and someone mentioned it during the live stream and I decided you know what it'd be kind of cool to have a guard on one of the towers and I don't really know what we're gonna do with the NPC guard I, I actually don't have a clue what we're gonna do with him but we'll figure it out when time comes but now I want to go on this adventure because it's it's now it's time it, it's time to go and see what we can find alrighty so I'm gonna go through here and hope that they don't really spot on the fact that I'm gonna kind of just run through kind of take this here okay yep they kind of figured it out actually no it's not too okay that guy's a quick dude all right we're gonna bank here guys we're gonna run as fast as possible now I'm kind of silly for not taking the bridge but it's not a big deal um, I kind of just want to explore. I'm going to take as much stuff as we possibly can get. Um, and I'm hoping that we do find supplies. Because knowing uh, our previous adventure in the past, we kind of hit a jackpot towards the end. However, in the beginning, it was really rough because we really didn't find any supplies. And I just hope that's not going to be the case today. But it could be. We might have to go really, really far out. Uh, and just by looking around here, I'm not seeing anything at all. But we're going to keep looking. Hope for the best because we do need melee weapons. I don't have any melee weapons. I think at the moment it looks like we actually explored a bit here but it's not a big deal I'm gonna keep walking in this direction um, and hope that maybe we can find uh, some type of building that hasn't been really uh, used up yet for supplies but I'm, I'm sure we'll find it and also guys like I said uh, if you haven't already um, hit that like button make sure you hit the like button see if we can reach 100 likes that's the goal for the series oh no there's a herd of walkers on that side and I don't want to use all my fuel flamethrower fuel on them because you know what it's a waste I don't want to do this um, and I don't really have a good melee weapon I think I still have my weapon uh, my gun on me but I don't have any ammo for it so we got to find ammo for it as soon as possible because if we don't we're gonna run in a big situation like this and I don't want to die right now because uh, this is gonna be a pretty big adventure now I kind of feel like I did wander off in this section or this part of the woods before oh man I almost felt that would have been really bad but then again I don't think I did yet so I'm just gonna keep positive and hope for the best right now it looks like this place is kind of new this little area right here um, any supplies in here let's just see let's just jump up here and check it out nope nothing all right all right let's keep going farther and farther and see if we can find anything I'm hoping that we get some ammo I'm really looking to get melee weapons right now and medical supplies for food I'm feeling quite comfortable because we do have a farm that's kind of working out for us 
but I want to kind of really gather up as much materials as possible for us to defend a horde of walkers because really we've been running on very low supplies and I can hear them really catching up with me, the, the quick ones at least. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. And by the way, I am going to be adding more NPCs uh, that are similar to the, um, you know, uh, what's it called, from the Walking Dead TV sh uh, show or series. Um, I'm going to add, I think, Rick Grimes. Uh, that would be kind of cool to have him as well. And some other cool people like Negan. And we're going to work on his base in, I think, the next episode because I didn't have enough time to prepare for that episode because it is a bigger haul of an episode to work on Negan's area because I got to really organize things well. All right, so we've been here. Now we're actually going past the area that we just were last time. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay, we got to... Sorry. We. <gasps> oh, no. Why is my flamethrower? No, 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 no. What's going on with my flamethrower? thrower why is it not working we have what what is this about okay oh i don't have my backpack on okay i think i don't have my backpack on i thought i did have my backpack on all right we're gonna go for a quick jog here in the water hopefully they're not still chasing us all right they're kind of slowing down let's get our backpack on right now and pretty much get our rag going here to help us out come on now oh no back off back off back off all right we just wasted a lot of our flamethrower but it's okay i can i can uh I can deal with it right now because we're kind of in a really bad situation as we are still going to look for supplies. But I haven't been in this section, and I do see loot right over there, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing. We're going to find some supplies, and I'm happy about that because I kind of need it right now in a big issue. All right, what is this? Dirty rag? That's fine. We can clean it eventually. Please don't see me, walkers. All right, let's get in here. All right, sweet. So we made some progress. We have a large backpack, which is really good because we're going to probably get a good amount of supplies, and I can store most of that in there. And oh, okay, ammo clips. Oh, crowbar. Okay, perfect. So this is what I'm going to use right now for my temporary melee weapon. We got a lot of ammo, which is good, and, you know, a good amount of medical supplies. So I'm going to actually store this stuff in here. Same with my extra food and ammo clips um, because I feel like I don't need them right now and I don't want to lose them and I just want to keep my inventory clean at the moment. So we have two rags that we got to clean up and uh, we have a water canteen. Perfect. We're going to keep that water bottle there for emergencies. All right. Other than that, I think we're good. I think the axe can go there too. Alrighty, so let's actually eat some food. We are kind of low on food. I think on um, I, I think on hydration, we're doing okay. We're not doing too bad on it, but we got to get the heck out of here, and I do need my axe, so let's get the heck out of here. One, two, all right, let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, there's one more loot over there I just saw. Ooh, this is cool. We can actually get in here without any worries, and there's a rag. Okay. All right, that's one thing. That's a bad thing, actually. It's a good thing and a bad thing because they can get in here. And we don't want them to get in here. Okay, more helmets. This is what I mean. Oh, shoot. All right, we got to block this off right now. Oh, gosh. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. We have to run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Okay, this is bad. What the heck just happened? Oh, my goodness. All right, med pack right now. Med pack right now. All right, let's go into a building ASAP. We got to get in there. All right, back off. Oh, shoot. We don't have a, our uh, fuel tank added. Okay, that was a bad mistake for me. Oh, no. This is bad. Okay, let's get this fuel tank on right now. And we got to run to this building. All right, this is actually more intense than I thought it would get right now. I don't think we're bleeding. I think we're just infected. Oh, we are infected. Oh, this is going to be almost impossible. We have broken legs, too. This is probably the worst fall damage and any damage I've ever gotten. All right, so please be something here. Food? I don't need food. I need a morphine or a makeshift splint would be really nice med pack is okay i can take that rope um anything else empty water bottle oh man this is this is bad okay so what do we have here to use let's see if we can use a rag or a bandage all right that's helping us a bit so i think yeah we still have broken legs that was so bad on my part it's not even funny all right all right let's see if we can run this all right we got to get to the other building as soon as possible come on now what's in there Tactical grip. All right. Let's see if we can run it, guys. We got to get to the other building without dying. We do have some flamethrower juice left. So hopefully we can uh, use some of it because we're definitely going to need it right now. So, oh, man, this is bad. I feel like they're going to get... Okay, they're already attracted to my sound of my movement. So we got to really run it right now and see if there's a way in from the back. I think there might be a chance for us. Oh, no. We're so dead. We are so dead. Oh, no. This is bad. I got to really book it right now. Back off. Back off. Back off. Oh, no. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, snap. This is bad. Sorry, guys. We're not going to make this one. I don't think we're going to make this. We might make it, actually. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. Where are they going? Where are they going? All right. 
We gotta get the heck out of here. This is too intense for me. Oh, snap. Okay, med pack, med pack. Let's go. All right, let's get out of here. Please, I just don't want to die right now because we have a good amount of stuff on us. Um, and this is actually probably the most intense it's ever been um, for an episode for surviving. Broken legs and uh, we have, we're infected. I mean, how, how much better can it get than that? All right, let's get in here. We actually survived that herd, which is kind of impressive. I wasn't expecting to survive that. We got to drink up right now quickly and eat up some food and get our heart levels back up and hopefully survive a bit longer and see what happens uh, towards the end of this episode because it's going to be quite intense. I really don't know what the outcome is going to be right now. I'm really hoping we got something. Come on now. What is this? Another med pack. We're just doing... Ah, oh, man, this is bad. Only med packs. That's all we've been getting right now. Um, but it's good to have because, you know what, we're kind of in a jam and I kind of do need it. All right, let's get some more water in here. Let's get some blocks as well so we can build up. That's one thing I think we're going to have to do is when we're going to be attacked by any herds, we're going to need to build up as tall as possible. And if anything, just to, just to be safe when we're blocking into buildings or trying to block buildings as we get in. So we have nine. I think that's more than enough to get out of here. All right, we're going to book it. Oh, there's cows. What the heck? This is so weird. We have cows. All right, this is a weird sighting, guys. This is very rare to see cows. Okay, we have, I think, some walkers behind me. But it's okay. I'm going to block up um, or build up here into the prison. And come on now. Come on now. Yes, there we go. Okay, I came in clutch on that one. Ooh, that was close. Okay, let's jump in here. Let's get whatever we can. And hopefully they don't sight that I'm in here. Because I didn't block the entrance. But I think we're okay. I'm going to take some more blocks as well. Just in case to block off any other areas of entrance like that. And I think we should be okay. Um, and this side as well. We're gonna block this as well. There we go. They can't get in here now. Now we can actually kind of survive a bit, but this really sucks because we're still infected and I can't find any cure or any, any, um, oh gosh, no, they're gonna come in here, aren't they? All right, that's okay. That's okay because they can't break into the building. I hope at least. Let's see. If they try, I don't think they can get in here. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're not, we're not doing too bad, but, uh, only thing that's concerning me for the most part is... We have nothing to help ourselves here, and this is bad. Okay, let's see if I can get some more cobblestone here. Oh, can we get that? No, we can't. All right, let's just get some from the top. Oh, jeez, this is intense. Let's see if I can actually increase my FOV so it doesn't look too bad, I guess, if that makes any sense. We're out of... Oh, there's a... Okay, there's a med, med pack facility. Or there's a medical loot right there, so I'm going to try to go down here and see if I can hit them off. I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, I can. All right, there's a good amount of them, but I think we can do this. If I just hit them off slowly, they can't get to me. So this is the only strategy I got right now. And then after that, we're gonna have to go and block off this entrance so that we can see what type of loot this is. And hopefully it's some type of RBI or some type of uh, morphine. All right, this guy's just not having it, is he? All right, come on, dude, die. All right, we gotta block off this entrance. Come on now. There we go. All right, we came. That was good. That was good. <gasps> RBI. Okay, sweet. And I think we do have an empty syringe here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, this came out really good. Okay, sweet. So we have the RBI cure. Oh, this is perfect. All right, so now we only have broken legs, which is something I can not really deal with, but I think we're fine um, for the most part. We just need to find a makeshift splint. Oh, a DMR. I think we have DMR clips. Um... I, I think we have DMR clips. Do we have DMR clips? No, we don't. Okay, let's keep checking out the bottom floor here and see if there's anything. A payday mask. <laughs> we really don't need... Oh, okay, please. Oh, come on. Jeez. All right, that was two medical uh, loots right there, and none of that was um, a makeshift splint or a some morphine. Okay, there's some here. Come on now. Morphine. Oh, yes. All right, so we're finally cured. We have no more issues. We are done. We're back to normal. And, all right, that was intense. That was honestly probably the most intense I've ever been through um, for, um, you know, surviving and trying to find supplies. That was crazy. All right, so we can actually enjoy some orange soda here. Throw that out and eat up some bread. And, geez, call it a day almost. I think it's been a pretty stressful episode. I got to be honest. This episode has been probably the most stressful out of any episode I've done, mainly because I thought we were going to die at one point. I want to check that building out really quickly, though. I'm really tempted because I do see some cool things from that. So I'm going to see. Can I reload this by any chance? No. Okay. So let's just throw everything we got in here just because I don't want to lose anything we have right now. 
And they're pretty good stuff. Alright, let's see if we can reload our M9. I think we have M9. Do we have M9? No, we don't. No. Okay, Desert Eagle. We do have a Desert Eagle. Um, at one of our guards has one, I believe. Alright, we're gonna go for a quick run here. And see if we can get anything from here. Alright, come on now. Alright, we gotta run. We gotta run. Alright, there's a ghost. Alright. We kind of just did a, an okay thing. We're gonna go in here and we're fine. We're safe. Once we get in here, we're safe. And there we go, guys. We're probably gonna have to... Oh, shoot. What did I say about being safe? Yeah, I take that back. Okay, that was unexpected. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. Today was actually pretty crazy, and I gotta tell you honestly, the desert is pretty wicked with walkers. It's full of them. So, I'm glad we survived. We didn't die, even though we faced, you know, an an infection, broken legs, a lot of bleeding. We still managed to survive and make it and gather up a decent amount of supplies. So, with that being said, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. Stay tuned for more Crafting Dead and other series on our channel. Peace out. My name is Alex, and stay foxy.